us home. Hey, come here, Alexa. Welcome home. Oh, you didn't wear sunscreen, did you? Whatever. Just grab my suitcase. Uh, yeah, let's let's go inside. Well, I have to admit, come here, Alexa, I missed you tons here in Lumberjoeville. I mean, I did try to have fun with Robo Tamina and Diva Marie, but, uh, they're not very smart. You must have been really bored not being able to make any new videos for the channel while I was gone. <laughs> no, uh, you're absolutely right. I definitely couldn't make a video without my co-mayor here, especially a figure history. Ooh. Wait, what? A figure history? Whoa, what in the my holy frick is that? Whoa, whoa, wait, where did, where did she come from? What? Something smells fishy here, and I don't like it. Did you make a video without me? Uh, no. Uh, but anyway, let's focus on today's figure review. Of the amazingly talented and beautiful Ty Conti from Unmatched Series 2. Did you know she's Brazilian? Is that why you sent me to Brazil for vacation? Yep. See, Brazil is very special to me because I once had someone very important and special in my life from Brazil. And I have to tell you, the reason I sent you there is I was really hoping that you'd pick up the good nature and culture of Brazil that I once fell in love with. Okay, you know. I just partied on the beach all day. Uh, so you're telling me you literally picked up nothing of Brazilian culture while you were there? I did get a Brazilian wax. Uh, no way, me too! I have to tell you, though, boy, huh, that freaking hurt. I mean, I don't even know how you would get a Brazilian wax. Uh, oh, uh, oh, you got that kind of, of wax. Well, that's, that's a little embarrassing, but uh, I'm going to go get started on this, uh, this, this review. Hey y'all, welcome to Lumber Joeville. Women's Wrestling lives here. And welcome to a really exciting review of the brand new Unmatched Series 2 Ty Conti figure. Now truth being told, when I first saw images of this figure, the 3D renderings, I was blown away. So I'm really anxious to see if this figure holds up to those images and to see just how good it is. So to start off, let's take a closer look with the package and then open it up. So before we unbox this figure, I just wanted to take a minute and show y'all the figure mint on card because I absolutely love what Jazzwares and AEW is doing with their figure packaging. I think this is the best packaging out there as far as wrestling figures go, and I just really love it. So with the Unrivaled line, the color scheme they use is kind of a gold and a black, whereas this Unmatched line is a silver, black, and a little bit of a blue accent having that backdrop being blue in I just think it stands out. It looks uh, gorgeous. I absolutely love the packaging. So taking a closer look here, we do have that reflective silver at the top with the AEW logo. And then on the front of the box here, obviously, we have a nice open window where we can see the figure and her accessory, an extra head. We have a stunning picture of the beautiful Ty Conti. Unmatched collection at the bottom there. We have her name on the side. We have the figure numbered. It says Series 2 of Unmatched. Then we have a little photo of her on the side here. Now, it is important to note, yep, there we go. Okay, so there is a letter on the side of the Unrivaled and Unmatched figures that spell out something. And I believe this particular Series 2 of Unmatched spells out Luminary because this is the first series that has a Luminary figure. Anyway, so looking at the back here, we have, once again, another stunning photo of Ty Conti with a printed autograph there. And then it shows what this attire was from, which I did my research, so we'll see if it matches up to that. And then we have the rest of the line, which, side note, this line is an absolute killer of a line, honestly. I, I think every one of those figures is great. So with that being said, I want to do a live, well, not really live, but a unboxing here and show y'all because these are not the easiest figures to get out of the case. So we're going to start off by cutting the tape at the top the middle and then the bottom here so there's three little spots 
where we cut it. And then I believe on the bottom, yeah, there's that little strip there. And okay, let's see what we got. Now this might be an awkward part of the video because I usually don't film my unboxings, but these are very tricky to open. So I just wanted y'all to watch. And if you see me do something wrong, maybe it'll help you unbox it without messing the box up like I'm going to. But I have one mint on card. So yeah, I'm just gonna kinda tear it open there. So once you take those off, you can separate the little blister from the bubble there and throw that away. And here we have Miss Ty Conti here. Looks amazing. So I'm gonna pop this figure out and let's take a closer look. AEW Unmatched Series 2 Ty Conti. So the box is actually wrong on this one. It states that this attire is from the March 31st, 2021 edition of AEW Dynamite, but she actually was in black ring gear that night in a very similar design. However, what this green attire is actually from is the March 24th, 2021 edition of AEW Dynamite, where Ty Conti would get a big win over Nyla Rose. All right, so my first impression of this figure is unbelievably positive. Now, there aren't many times where my jaw drops to the floor with how amazing a figure is. And honestly, folks, as far as I can tell, this is one of those times. Now, we are going to break down this figure part by part and uh, see if it lives up to my first impressions. But, I mean, I'm... I'm at a loss of words. I'm honestly blown away by this figure right now. So let's take a closer look at this figure now, starting with that face. All right, so starting off with this face scan, I am blown away. Everything from the face sculpt, the hair sculpt, the hair coloring, the face detail, it to me is spot on. Now it is very important to note that just like the Mattel women's figures, a lot of times that printing technology is a little bit off. Even on this one, if you look real close, the eyes might be a little lower than they should be. But if you look at this figure from a distance, I think it looks even better than if the eyes were actually up a little bit. I think it just it, it looks amazing. Now, I am going to show a comparison of the other Ticonti I have where the eyes are printed a little higher. Now, I honestly think this tie on the right is where the eyes are supposed to be. But I think the one on the left looks actually a lot better and looks freaking identical to her. So, yeah, I mean, it all depends, honestly, on how your scan is printed on. But I am extremely happy with this one. So, yeah, taking a closer look, like I mentioned, that face sculpt is perfect. She has a very strong jawline, and they get that perfectly. She's got a little smile. She has plenty of eye makeup there. She has her eyebrows painted on, and then the hair sculpt itself is super, super unique. She has like a high tight ponytail on the top of her head. It's very thick, and then as you can see, she has a darker color here near the root, and then it gets to a whitish blonde, and then blonde blonde. So, yeah, I mean, I'm colorblind, so I always have issues. It actually took me a while to realize that there was a couple shades of blonde, and I think it looks pretty good. You know what I mean? I really like that. Now, it is important to note that the only accessory, I guess accessory, that she comes with is a spare head. So since we're checking out the face, let's take a look at this spare head. Now, the spare head, in my opinion, isn't as good. I mean, it's a more serious, stern-faced Ty Conti there. And it doesn't have her signature hair. You know, so I do think this is a good alternative head. And honestly, anyone out there that had some bad luck with the normal head scan, it's nice that you at least have a backup option if need be. So yeah, let's actually try switching the heads and see how hard or easy it is. This is going to break my heart. Okay, that was pretty easy. I'm terrified right now. I don't want to... All right, so jumping to the Ty Conti body with this alternate head on, the reason we just jumped to it is I actually wrestled for quite a bit trying to get this alternate head on the peg. Now, I do love that it wasn't very easy to do because if you go back to my Elite 89 Nia Jax review, her heads just fell right off with minimal effort and that drove me nuts. So I am happy to say that you do have to put a little muscle into switching the heads. Now, I do suggest using the boiling water technique if you are going to make a permanent switch on the heads because it, it would really minimize the stress that you have to put on that peg joint there. So looking at 
Ty Conti here with that alternate head. You know, I think it's a fine alternative option. I like that she has a serious face, but in my opinion, it does not hold a candle to the original sculpt and scan that she comes packaged with. So it is nice to have uh, another option, but I would have actually much rather had like an entrance jacket or something rather than an alternate head. So yeah, I mean, like I said, anyone that has a messed up print on the original sculpt or scan, it's nice that you do have another option in the box, but I do very much prefer the original head. Now let's get that original head back on here and take a look at the attire. All right, so before we take an up-close look at her attire itself, I just want to first and foremost say they did an amazing, amazing job with the body mold itself. And it literally looks like a scaled-down miniature version of Ty Conti herself. And they did an excellent job. It's very unique to her, and it is spot on. Everything from the skin tone to the muscle definition to just the overall mold itself. You know, I'm not trying to be weird, but yes, it is very unique. In certain features and it it really does look just like Ty Conti and they really went the extra mile in this body sculpt and body mold and yeah it's just amazing now the reason I make such a big deal out of it is the AEW women's figures to me were starting you know from the start of their releases with that brandy they kind of look like Martians if you looked at them so here's unmatched series one Britt Baker and standing next to her, it looks like a completely different figure line. Okay, so I used to complain about how high the belly button was. The legs were always kind of uh, awkwardly long. Her feet are huge. And yeah, it was almost like whoever designed the initial women's figures has never seen a woman before or something. It's, it's really bizarre. So it's just a breath of fresh air to see the major drastic improvements that they made to this tie. And how they really made it, you know, absolutely unique to her. And yeah, I'm just excited for what they do in the future with the women's figures. Because um, the effort put into this is amazing. So anyway, moving in to the attire. So right off the bat, you'll notice that yes, everybody. We have a metallic shiny green paint application as the primary color on her attire. And the best part about it. That's exactly how it looked on this night. And that speaks volumes because we don't see that a lot in the Mattel women's figures, as I always complain. And here they did a tremendous job with that paint application. And not only that, there's actually molding all throughout this attire. We're start, we'll, we will start with the top here. She has a little choker necklace that is molded on. It says Ty Conti in silver. You get a little glimpse of her tattoo above her collarbone there. And moving on to her top, yes, it is a molded top piece here. Even these straps that go across her chest are molded on there with little silver dots painted in there intricately. We have a silver border painted on the top that goes all the way around. If you lift her hair up, these straps that are on her back, you guessed it, they're molded too. And they really didn't have to be being hidden by the hair, but they're molded. I mean, they went the extra mile there. Also, the bottom border of her top is kind of this black band that goes around with the silver dots. And it looks really good when she's moving in different positions and directions. So, moving on down to her midsection, she has this paint applied here. The silver paint that goes all the way around here. And it kind of forms into this black piece here and this clip. And, I mean, just look at all that paint detail that they put into this. I'll be honest, when I turned it around, I didn't expect it to actually have all this additional detail. But it's there. So, there it is. It looks amazing. And I like the black border that they put on that. Now, it's not a molded piece, but that's okay. Because, like I mentioned a lot of times in my reviews, if it's tight-fitting attire, it works great. And that looks awesome. Now, the bottoms are molded on. And even with the top, I guess I didn't cover that. There are little tiny folds throughout the top and throughout the bottoms that simulate fabric. And that to me is just, I don't know, it's amazing. It just blows me away. So we have a black border here with some molding, the silver dots. And then her tights on the bottom here are a molded piece there on the ledge of her bottom there. It's molded, so that's a nice contrast to have that molded ledge there. And then she has a logo on her behind there. She has these black simulated stockings painted on along with these black lines, which is very accurate and it's painted on very cleanly. Moving on down, she has these green knee pad pieces 
And I believe, yeah, okay, they're a unique shape here. So this black piece is kind of a little more narrower than the thicker bulk of the knee pad. And yeah, that's just a really cool shape and piece. And on the right side, we have that logo. Then we have our kick pads and boots. And wow, those actually look like really cool kick pads and boots. I don't think I've seen those yet in the line. And it's very accurate to what she wears. So yeah, I mean, overall, this attire, this body mold, this sculpt, I mean, this, this is like a miniature statue so far. And I can't say enough good about it. And now let's cover the articulation, which is, again, where this figure really stands out. But honestly, the AEW women's figures, as far as articulation goes, has always been pretty darn spectacular. So, starting off with her head here, despite this bulky hair sculpt, she actually has pretty good head movement. She can look down pretty well. She can look up fairly well. She can look right. She can look left. And she can move in a circle pattern here. Now, as far as her shoulder goes, it is on that ball joint that is almost a ratchet type joint. It feels very steady and solid in every position here. She also has this upper arm swivel. She has a double jointed elbows to allow maximum flexion there. Her wrist, she can spin it and also extend and flex it down. She has this upper torso swivel where she can side bend, forward bend, extend, and move in a circumduction pattern. She has this waist swivel where we can kind of spin her. She has a hip on a ball joint which can move in all different directions. She has this upper thigh swivel joint. She has double jointed knees which even with those knee pads she can flex it uh, beyond 90 degrees. So that's actually really really good especially considering she's wearing knee pads. She also has a little swivel joint here at the top of her boots and then her foot can dorsiflex, planar flex, and also rock side to side. So yeah, I mean, like I mentioned, articulation has always been pretty super with this, these AEW women's figures, and this one's no different. I mean, uh, 10 out of 10 articulation. And here's one last look at AEW Unmatched Series 2, Ty Conti. So before I give an overall score to this amazing figure, I just want to first and foremost say that since I started this channel and shared my passion with all of you for collecting figures of these strong, amazing, beautiful, inspirational women's wrestlers, I've really grown a fondness toward Mattel. And I truly think that they have single-handedly delivered the best women's wrestling figure product out there time and time again. Now, sure, they haven't exactly had a home run every single time, but they've released some amazing figures. And now when AEW and Jazz Wars started making women's wrestling figures about a year and a half ago, they had some decent ones along the way. They had some good ones. They also had some not-so-good ones. But either way, Mattel was leaps and bounds leaps and bounds ahead of Jazz Wars, in my opinion, as far as women's wrestling figures go, until now. And the reason I say that is overall, I give Unmatched Series 2 Ty Conti a record-breaking score of an 11 out of 10. Now, yes, you heard me right. I have uh, crushed my scoring system of 10 out of 10. I believe the highest score I previously gave was Liv Morgan Elite 85 as a golden uh, 10 out of 10, but this right here is an 11 out of 10. Now hear me out. In my opinion, this is the best women's wrestling figure that I have in my collection. It's not just a wrestling figure. It is a work of art, almost a mini statue. Everything from the skin tone to the body sculpting to that amazing face scan to the hair sculpt to the attire. There's a lot of molded detail and molding that went into this attire that you really can't appreciate unless you look at it up close. And of course, that metallic green spot-on color of her attire. Even the packaging is out of this world, in my opinion. Now, this figure didn't go wrong in any category. 
Now, some people are going to say that it's a little disappointing that as far as accessories go, we didn't get an entrance jacket or even extra hands. We just got an extra head, but I think that's a fine idea to get an extra head. Even though it's not the best scan in the world, I am so infatuated with how great the scan is that the figure came with. It's just nice to have that as a backup option. So yeah, in my opinion, this is the best figure that I have in my collection and the best figure I've ever reviewed on my channel. Now, I believe Elite Series 79 Io Shirai was very close and was my favorite women's wrestling figure before this. But y'all, this changes the game to the point where usually I give recommendations like if you're a women's wrestling figure collector, get this figure. But no, no, no. If you collect wrestling figures at all, men's, women's, whatever, you need to get this figure. I, I promise you, you won't regret it. I, I can't say enough good about this figure. Like I said, if I had to choose one figure as the best figure in Lumber Jovo's collection, it would honestly be this unmatched Series 2 Ty Conti. And if you don't agree with me, I totally understand. But if you don't have it yet, I highly recommend and suggest that you go out and get it because this figure is truly amazing. And if this is... What's to come as far as AEW Jazz Wars women's figures? They might take the crown away from Mattel eventually in all actuality. I, I, I can't say enough good about this. Thanks for stopping by Lumber Joeville. Women's wrestling lives here. For a first look at all future women's wrestling figures, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and become an official resident today. Also, the Jillies Award Show will be held in January, but this month I'll be releasing videos that cover every women's wrestling figure released in 2021. I believe the first video is going to be covering all of AEW's women's figures, so stay tuned. That's going to be a very special video with a special guest that's going to be out soon. So with that being said, have a great night. Yeah.